Yes, that, yeah. And I learned that uh, Carl can take two pictures at one time. <laughs> so uh, that was kind of impressive in its own right. Uh, on the night, uh, we accepted, the library accepted Best Use of Flowers Award from Keep the Cater Beautiful, and it's a, a by vote, uh, which we thought was great, and we didn't do anything to deserve that. Uh, master Gardeners <laughs> take care of most of it, and uh, the uh, Garden Club of Decatur uh, does another part we don't uh, you know, so, and it has been for months. So, um, we had a lot of meetings on the Friends and all that, which we'll get to a little bit later. Um, Can we take a pause? And, Absolutely. Um, so Sophia is here by Zoom. Can you hear us? And I apologize, division end reports won't be forthcoming because three of them couldn't make it and I told Carol she didn't have to be the lone ranger. Uh, so, um, it was a little curious because we didn't have to send yes. Yeah. yes, yes. So technical services, uh, not, not a whole lot to, to report there. Programs, resources, and services. Uh, John Shirley, uh, who's on out there at the desk, uh, who probably said welcome because uh, he does everybody, which is wonderful. Uh, he's updating and more theme book lists and adding QR codes. We seem to be back. Uh, Susan Bishop uh, is taking over a position as facilitator for our Rebecca Cottle uh, discussion group, book discussion group. Uh, Tabitha Bilyeu is uh, changing the Spice Club into a cookbook club. Uh, and Casey Stein has been working on Take and Makes. Uh, you know, programming has been a little bit different. Because he's working in the background and supporting everything. Yeah, and he, you know, and he's out of here by face by bomb. It made sense at the time. Yeah, yes. uh, just, wishful thinking. Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, it, it, everything that that map on that map of uh, uh, transmission rate, the national map of transmission. Rate, the July one, it looked beautiful. Mm -hmm. And 30 days later, it's entirely red. Nebraska surprisingly has very. They they weren't reporting. Well, that was yeah. Yeah. But Nebraska, Sports Oregon, they made yes. Their governor was preventing him from reporting for a while, and it looked great. It's like, wow, they're perfect. Nobody's getting it at all. And uh, now the reports are starting to come in, and it's not looking all that good in Nebraska either, unfortunately. So, well, um, I will say that it's a little bit of a different story up by Chicago, because I talked to some of my friends, and the hospitals in Chicago are not slammed and not full like they are in Decatur. Transmission rate is still considered high, but you know. Oh, that, I agree. I'm just saying oh, that you, you know the governor may not realize how different parts of the state are varying, especially since I don't think it's necessarily 100% public knowledge that both our hospitals are full. Well, that would be, and uh, and and I I think that I just think there's no I think that uh, you know we'll see what happens. It's just uh, it's a it's a, it's a, you know, there's a lot more important things than, than these numbers, you know, so, uh, but, uh, you know. Uh, I, I guess my point is we're not in normal times yet. Yeah. I yeah. don't, I don't feel like, I feel like in some ways, at least in Macon County, we're sliding backwards at the moment. And, and I'm usually, not for that long. I'm usually by this time of year, be, I'm able to give you guys a pretty confident, here's where I think we're going to end up at the end of the year circulation wise and compare and I I'm not confident at all uh, in it this year. Uh, and we decided to hold off on backfilling. We have a halftime page position that's open. We decided to we're looking at a twenty seven percent to thirty percent decline in physical item circulation and a page's job is to get things back up on the shelf. We're gonna hold off on backfilling those twenty hours and see if we Questions, personnel? Right. And then we'll talk, to, we'll talk about uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, I would like to, if willing, ask Carl to become the, the uh, chair of said committee. Um, and if it would be helpful to you, Katie can serve as like the staff liaison. Uh, if you're willing to do that. Yes, I'd like to take on this one. Excellent. I will, uh, I've sent all you guys those three proposals. I think uh, uh, I, I suggested that the committee vote. Uh, uh, 
make recommendations about increasing on how to increase the diversity of boards, staff, and volunteers. And then uh, a few months later, uh, murder of George Floyd, and we decided that you know, maybe we need to broaden that charge. Uh, but that's, that's I think, and, and then that could be brought to committee, you know, and, and I, I don't expect that you guys will make a decision next month, but uh, I, I'd like to begin discussing in, uh, you know, if, as long as the committee is, is in agree the, the agreement that those are the three finalists, I would like to uh, finance properties until we know who we want. I'm, I'm open to it. I think uh, we need to look at it. I mean, I'd like to hear from the board as well, thoughts about DEI and what you want to see if it shows a commitment to DEI and, uh, in our community. So, thanks. And I think one of the points that Rick raised in his email that went out was that, you know, we, at the absolute bare minimum, I want to make sure this is getting done by the end of the year. I mean, yeah, November, okay, sure. working with the with, with the, the contractors themselves to get it going. Well, and just so you know, they did not see the email, so. <laughs> yeah, and I'm happy to, to share he, those. Or yeah, he. Not with this. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, so, and in discussions with our division heads today, I think really what we want to do is just make it a lot more narrow. Uh, yeah. Make it uh, in. in in cases of illness that may be infectious, and uh, but you can still do some work. So it's work. not just you can request at any time and ask. Yep. You. And yeah. and then Carl, I think, made the suggestion to put a cap on the number of those days in the year so that it doesn't become abused. Mm -hmm. So as long as you know, as uh, you're legally comfortable with that, and, and you guys are comfortable with that in general, that's the that's what I intend to pursue. Yeah. No. I yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know. Just for a little background, though, for board members, and we, during COVID, we did have people work. So everybody was working from home. And work duties in, in job, you know, uh, because to me that yeah. seems reasonable. Well, I think so. I think if it's you know, like you're saying, a page versus you know, IT. Yeah. You know, you can more easily work from home than when you're. Yeah. And, then, and, then and then maybe then, it's like setting up some kind of you know. Parameters. That you can do while you're at home, like having kind of a job, like for those five days, like yes. here's and what it, we can have you do. And it was. First, I want to say uh, welcome to the new board members. I didn't get a chance to do that. So, okay. welcome. I'm glad to have you on. So, um, so anyway, yeah, it's, uh, you know, those two, three consultants, they, they were the, the, uh, the ones that kind of rose to the top. Um, and we had some more that we were looking at maybe for present presenters, but uh, I think we have some really good resources uh, with some of the committee members that have uh, some good experience and had some great suggestions, uh, especially with Brenda Major, um, uh, Natalie Beck, um, Abby, uh, and uh, a couple more I'm sure I'm forgetting. So. Awesome. No, that's great. Like, we we mainly just talked about like what we kind of want to do because um, I think we want to hear from the diversity committee uh, one more time as far as you know the actual you know like getting everybody together um, right and um, Carl's going to put that together um, along with Katie here um, for enough you know getting it done uh, as soon as possible we've had a lot of uh, you know uh, I think I would have liked to move faster, but when I talk to people who have been through the process, they say you want to make sure you do it correct, correctly. Uh, you know, and uh, working here in uh, Appleton, I've been talking to the DEI officer here, uh, who was actually works for the city, and you know, it's the same thing. You know, you just you want to do it correctly. You want to take your time. Sometimes it takes longer than you would like for it to take, but you know, at the end of the day. Uh, if, if we could get to that point everywhere where everyone feels like they're valued uh, and also we feel like we're included in the process, everyone feels like they can be included in the process or feels like, um, you know, I, I think one of the goals um, that we had was uh, increasing diversity 
in the uh, three of the goals, increasing diversity in the, the board and the staffing and also our resources. And so along the way, we also decided that, you know, we wanted to make sure that everyone uh, understands how important it is for uh, the inclusiveness too. And also putting a statement out there um, on the library website, kind of letting, you know, everyone know that where we, um, as a library, where the library stands. And, uh, you know, it's it was great to talk to the mayor and hear her thoughts on it. So, you know, I guess the a great goal would be the, would be to make sure, you know, that the um, city knows what the library does. And, you know, like in some places, the library is not standing, sort of it seems like it's standing alone doing something like this, but also working with the city to do something that's, you know, similar because um, at our, you know, we, when we started and even now it's, it's tough to find uh, out what the, exactly what the city is doing for uh, this particular effort. And uh, that was one of the things I wanted to, you know, really kind of keep working with the city as much as possible, talking with John, talking with the mayor, talking with Rochelle and uh, French and seeing what, you know, kind of, because this is something that, you know, I think not just for a library, uh, but the city of Decatur needs to embrace sure. and have a little bit more. Um, I think that'd be a good goal, maybe down, yeah. down the line. Right. Let's, let's get our house. Right, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, cross the river. Better have the video on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this, there's no camera connected to this, this uh, laptop, but if you don't mind, I don't think I'll hang around since I don't yeah. have to now. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Go, go, go. Enjoy your evening. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy your evening. You, you guys are great. Thank you. I appreciate all you guys have done and, you know, working with you. And uh, Rick's been super, and um, I wish you the best. And like I said, I'll, I'll help any way I can. I have family Indicator, Decatur. I have friends in Decatur, and, um, you know, it's Decatur is still my home. So, um, you know, anything I can do, please let me know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. All right. Take care. Bye. 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 You should change your name back to Super Rick. You mentioned it was, it was worth revisiting. It's, I think, pretty important to talk about the diversity of boards, et cetera. We, we do need to look at collections, policies, and programs and see, you know, are we, are we considering a la carte your situation? Clint, uh, Clint. Last name Smith, the guy who wrote How the Word is Passed, uh, is going to be the keynote speaker this year, so I'm excited about that. I'll join first, I'm asking. I don't know that I'll be able to dedicate my entire three days to that period, but I definitely will. But, I mean, Same price, you know, so it's, uh, you know, not everybody can go to, to all, all the sessions. I mean, that's. Um, but wear comfortable shoes. Sophia, are you in town? Yes. Um, no, I'm not in town Labor Day weekend. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to visit my daughter. Yeah, I mean, I'm, go I'm going to visit my brother, but I'll be back a little for a little bit. So they, um, they also have books between bites, um, which is the first time. Um, so that is when somebody comes and talks to um, a group of people. It's a program, basically. Um, so they'll have somebody come and talk about a book. So this first one. Uh, you know, we've got something later to discuss. Yes. Yeah. Well, did you talk about rotating going to the meetings? Yeah, that's next, actually. So. Okay. Did you say anything? Come back to our meeting and you just do the report that I did. I mean, usually it's not as long. It's because they're getting ready for the Labor Day themselves. So, um, so that's pretty exciting. Because they make all their money <laughs> at that sale. I mean, not all the money. So that is the committee assignment. Um, I will find out who the PDP are. <laughs> well, I mean, I and yes, they answer yes. So that is something I know I've brought up to her multiple times. Um, the person that I, that Rick and I have actually talked to that I liked um, is, uh, is, I think he's a person of color. Sorry. <laughs> Diversity there at all. Uh, and and I think that's something that we need. I have, when we have openings, I do, you know, I, I send uh, the, the job announcement to, uh, I, well, I have uh, uh, send job announcements to 
supply changes in commerce, uh, a couple of uh, uh, African American sororities that I know members of, and uh, a few other sources. But I think it's where we might be missing is on the recruitment end for board members, for staff, for volunteers, not on the I think that you know on the hiring end we're all really aware of it and uh, we want to do better but uh, that's that's where we're if, to the extent that we're falling down I think that's where Their property. Right. And so uh, I, hopefully I can get that figured out shortly so that we can send it to city council for, for final approval. So any questions on the election? They're putting in one on their property, like on the ground. Expand their program. I mean, like expand their sales. Then maybe they don't need such a big space. Right, and they seem they seem to be open to that. Yeah, uh, they, they do seem to be open to that. So, but I like the idea of a test because then you know they have data, we have data. Well, and our all. community does too. Because I put it to you guys to see if you wanted to you know, officially move. And, and, and Kate's question is a is a. I think. Uh, Is it is it we would make the motion to move the friends uh, temporarily with the action? We still have one more month to do this. So right. if you want to review the contract before yeah, we... Yeah, I'll do that. Is it the lease agreement that you said? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I'll look at that. And then yeah, yes. so if it, 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 you could table it until... until I guess table it until the next meeting. All right. All right. I'll move the table. Okay. Is that favor? <laughs> I mean, people found me I mean, crazy. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> um, so, the budget. Yeah, so we're, you know, we're in a good place. Uh, we didn't think we'd be in a good place, but revenue has been what's the word? more robust than expected. Uh, so, uh, you just want to go down the list, of, like, at least on this. In, in seven and a half years, get that just right. Something Matt and I are going to be working on in the next couple of weeks. Um, you know, postage staff, is going up. I forgot to tell you. Postage is going up. Yeah. Well, postage is going up, but I'm ending paper notices. We will not be sending out paper notices. We will. We will let people know by the end of the year. We're